Hello guys, Woohoo here, back with another video. This time around, guiding you through the Rise of the Sunseeker event that we are getting uh, rewarded a ship plus its sale. Also, more importantly, we are getting rewarded two Magic Find Potions. And these Magic Find Potions give 75 Magic Find for one hour. And you get, like I said, two of them through this event. And uh, if you actually found this guide helpful, make sure you like the video, uh, maybe subscribe, helps me out very, very much and it's very, very much appreciated. But without further ado, let's just jump into step one. So step one is to use a potion next to the NPC guy. And as you can see here, you have to go to the hub and then you take a left, it's actually on the east side and you just go up to this guy, press your potion, doesn't matter which one it is. And that is going to you to complete step one. So let's jump into step two. All right, step two is to uh, loot collect five items. It doesn't have to be uh, gear. It can be anything at all. You loot collect, everything works. And as it says in the quest, you have to do it next to the guy, but you don't have to. I did this in the first world or something like that. Doesn't matter which one it is. It just matters that you loot collect five items doesn't matter which one it is and that's step two so head on to step three all right step three is to uh, mine 250 sharp stone or the purple ore whatever you're going to call it uh, i suggest you do this in prime world 2 if you can in the kandori area because it has the most uh, ores just all around but you sharp or is pretty common in many biomes. So you can do it wherever you want to. You don't have to bomb it either. You can mine it, uh, just laser man it if you want to do that. You just have to collect 250. I'm not sure if you can get it off the marketplace or not. Usually they, they tend to not go that route anymore, but it might be. If you can, just do that also. I just mined it, took me like two seconds. Anyways, uh, let's jump into step four. All right, step four is to collect uh, 50 mushroom chunks. And I suggest you go to the first world that is because uh, it has like the most of it, I feel. And it's very common in that area, as you can see in the footage here. And if you're wondering what kind of uh, mo what kind of is sticking up the red showing where the mushroom are, it's, some, uh, it's a mod that is called Waypoints. And I have it a uh, video on the channel where it says which mods I have and stuff like that. But this mod is called Waypoint and it shows you where everything is basically mushroom chunks, enchanted wood, bleach bones and stuff like that. Very useful mod and it's called, uh, like I said again, Waypoints. So with collecting 50 of these, we are heading on to step five. Great, we are on step five and this step five is to collect uh, 50 uh, primordial flames and i suggest you do this in the uh, prime world 5 if you can in the big where it is a lot of uh, dragonfire peaks but you can do this in basically all uh, areas but there's just mostly in this as you can see we go underneath there's a lot of well also a lot of mushroom chunks but there's also quite a lot uh, sharp stone and of course primordial flames as we have here on the on the footage and 50 doesn't really take that long on gathering day so i'll suggest you do it there but it's just yeah just a little bit of gathering and i think you can also get it on the marketplace but anyways this was step five let's head to step six all right, step six is to defeat 75 enemies in the Cursed Valley biome. I suggest you go to the third world where it's where there is most Cursed Valley uh, and just go around defeating enemies. Uh, it's pretty simple. As long as you are in a Cursed Valley biome, make sure you are that when you do it and just go around defeating enemies. Could be anything at all. Uh, just keep in mind that you might have to kill them and you can't run with anybody else. But it's 75, it doesn't take a uh, very long time. And I, if you do find the the dungeon that has like uh, 30 killer defeat any me, uh, 30 enemies, it takes like not no time at all. But I did it this in, as you can see, in just in a big dungeon and just got him through there because there was mostly just there. So 75 enemies and you're done with step six. So let's head into step seven. 
All right, on step seven, we are back in Candoria. We are farming now Infinium. We need 75 of the yellow ore. And this, we have done this in the past. I'm pretty sure you can also get it off the marketplace, but I suggest you just farm it. Doesn't really take very long. Again, on gathering day takes a little bit short of a time, but you can do this on any sort of day you want to. And it just helps out a little bit more on the gathering day. But you, as you find it, you can bomb it or mine it, whatever you want to. Doesn't really matter. Just have to collect it. And when you get 75, you're done with step seven and we can head on to step eight. All right, we are on step eight, and that means that we have to trigger our uh, magic find eight times. It doesn't matter how you do it. You can do it on mini bosses, shadow towers, anywhere you want to. Uh, basically, you just have to make your uh, magic find trigger eight times. And I know it's a little bit harder for newer players that doesn't have a lot of magic find, but just bring your highest magic find character. Just farm away, doesn't really matter. Eight times is not that insane, really. Uh, it could be a lot worse. Uh, some people is gonna have a, a better, easier time as I did and some other people, but it's not a step that's gonna take you very long. And when you have then triggered it eight times, you will complete step eight and we can go on to step nine. So step nine means that we're almost done with the, with the whole event. But first, we do have to defeat 125 enemies in the Fey area. As we did in the Cursed area, we just have to do it in the Fey now, and it's 125. And you can find it, basically, enemies outside the dungeons, inside the dungeons, whatever. Uh, I suggest you do this uh, in the in this, in the U1, or Uber 1, Prime World 1, whatever you're going to call it. But... Uh, I also suggest that you just do it as you do randomly farming and not do it as I did, you know, just going through it. Just make it inside your normal farming uh, event or <laughs> schedule, whatever you're going to call it. So, uh, with step 9 done, we can head on to the last step, step 10. Alright, step 10 and the last step in the event. Uh, here you just have to collect 50 items, doesn't matter what kind of items it is, it can be gems, it can be fish, it can be gear, doesn't matter, as long as it's something you can loot collect, then it is something that is going to count towards it. And I actually think you can also uh, buy it back and then loot collect it again, and that would maybe count towards it. I haven't tested that out myself, but if you actually did that and actually worked for you, m make sure you put a comment below. Maybe somebody is going to help somebody else out, uh, but try it out at least uh, to, to do so. And when you then have loot collected 50, you will get your uh, your ship and your sail and of course you also in the previous steps you've got your magic find potion so i'm gonna be very interested uh, in testing that out in some uh, future streams or something like that if again you find this guide helpful make sure you guys like or maybe subscribe uh, and that helps you helps me so much with these uh, guide events and and so on so again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye